let's talk about some of these picks. Um, not picks, but let's talk about power rankings. We we know the scores, we know how the games went. Let's get into the nitty gritty of these power rankings. Who is your top five? Because I, I truly believe I have a top five, and maybe we can come into a consensus at the end to be like, you know, I see that. I can probably switch some things around. But if I had to say, I'm gonna put hot take, hot take on the spot. Who's your top? No, I'm going last. I'm going last. I want to hear y'all compliment, you know, my preseason picks. But go ahead. I'm going last. So, so, so reason, who, who's your top five? If you had to pick five best teams right now playing great football, who are those teams? So at five. Just based on see right now, I'm doing this power rankings off the off the wins and who you beat. I feel like that's fair right now. Because I can look at teams and feel like that. So at five, currently, I got my Las Vegas Raiders. I feel like you got to put some respect on the teams we have beaten. Uh, quote unquote, kind of, maybe, depending on where you want to stand with that. I feel like we are a solid three and one team. Um at four. I got the Buffalo Bills at three. I got uh, Tampa Bay at two. I got the Chargers and at one, I got the Cardinals. All right. Say that again. Real fast. So five is the Raiders. Four yep. is the Bills, three is the Bucks, two is the Chargers, one is the Cardinals. Right. Got to put respect on those teams now. But that five with the Raiders, it's like it's like honestly, it's a it's a it's a three way tie between them, the Cowboys, and the Panthers. So you know that's how I look at it. But I'm gonna give my team a nod because I'm a fan, and you know just what that is. But I, I do respect what the, the the Panthers and the Cowboys got going on. I'm going to give you my top five. I'm going to start number one. I don't know, all this five for one. Bro, we starting with the Mono Iano, okay? It's the only undefeated team, and I know Jay on his high horse today. He's feeling good, and we're going to get into power ranking QBs because his QB that he said was probably going to be the MVP of this year. No, 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 wait. He said he was a dark horse. But he, he, he had him on a high horse. To be a dark horse, he put him on a pedestal like he was the dude. Hey, 25 to one from Vegas says he was a dark horse, and now all of a sudden he in the cat. I thought you said you was going last. Which one is? All okay. right, no, go ahead. You I'm going, going last, last or what? Can I go? I'm going last. Go? I'm, going last. I'm, going last. Go? I'm going last. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. The Arizona Cardinals right now is looking like the best team in the NFL. Just right now, they're undefeated, but the way they're playing and how they beating people, even how they came out against Jacksonville, they stunk up the place in the first half and then dominated them all in the second half, and then they beat a really, really good Los Angeles Rams team in L.A. I mean, dogged them at home. I mean, like, you get dogged at the crib. You get put 30-piece at the crib. Okay. That's, why I have to, that's why I have to move them down because I didn't, I didn't like – I didn't like how they got did for their first. Hey, that was that was kind of disrespectful. Yeah, I don't uh, like how they got did for that. That was kind of disrespectful. <laughs> um, I ain't gonna hold you. So I had to put them at number one. Uh the number two team right now, in my opinion, and I truly feel like this team is probably one of the most dominant teams on the defensive end because of their defensive line, is the Cleveland Browns. Uh, the Cle the Cleveland Browns is for real. I, I'm not going to hold you. They lost that game to the Kansas City Chiefs that they shouldn't even lost, to be honest with you. I truly believe the Cleveland Browns is the team that may be coming out. What number? Two. He got him at two. He's so disrespectful to the Chargers. But go ahead. Bro, 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 bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Don't disrespect me when I'm talking. I ain't disrespect you with your top five. I I'm just saying that. Just, <laughs> this, this team, this team, this defense – has the lowest uh the high, the lowest uh points scored on in the, the past four games. The lowest points for the the last three games, the opponent has only had about twenty points. To the Texans and the Bears. What are you talking about? What the Bears just do to the Lions? The Lions. The Lions. I have to. That's that soldier boy, Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Drake. Okay. The Lions. Hey, 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 hey. they got. 
They got the Cardinals this week, which is going to be the game, one of our games. They're going to play the Cardinals this week. Who? The, 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 the Cleveland Browns. No, no, no. no. Browns got the Chargers this week, which is one of our Chargers. games. So, so we can we can we can end that debate this week. We can end that debate this week. We can our picks. We can we can end that debate. But anyway, I got the Cleveland Browns. Why would you take the Browns this week? I got the Cleveland Browns at the number two spot. Number three, they beat some good teams right now. Number three, right now, I'm liking the L.A. Chargers. The Chargers is really really dominant right now. They they they, they wait. Let me take that back. I, I lied. I lied. You lied. I lied. The Chargers okay. aren't even number three. They're not. They're not yeah, number three. My number three team right now, I don't have a hat. But if I did, I'd be Jerry Jones in the locker room. Oh, my gosh. How about new Cowboys? Three and one. I cannot put the Chargers over the Cowboys if they didn't beat the Cowboys. How can you, how can you be better than the Cowboys if you didn't even beat that team? Rick Flair, woo! To beat a man, you have to beat the man. They didn't beat the man. So how can I put you above them? That is the most dumbest thing I can do. I can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Yeah, this Stephen A. Smith going. I got the Cowboys at the number three spot. My number four. This is this is this is beautiful. You already ruined the surprise. We know who it is. My number four. Yeah. Are you ready? Because it's not who y'all think. Just it is. no, they, they got they not even the top five. Sound like it, 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 it's not who y'all think it is. It, it's not who y'all think it is. Um, right now, my number four is the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills have been balling. They 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 lost. They they only lost to Pittsburgh. Oh, that's that's a horrible loss. He's he's re, he's really moving on 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 the fly here. You had the Chargers go from three to five or or six. Oh, man, they may not even on the list, Jay. You should let him finish. <laughs> can you? Okay. They may not even make the list, Jay. He going on off the cuff. Can you cheer right now? Can you cheer right now? <laughs> Buffalo Bills is the team to be worried about. I'm telling y'all right now. They lost to the Steelers, but it's an ugly loss. It's not an ugly loss. It was it was it was a close game. It just got out. <laughs> It, it just got out of hand. They just they just had a bad game. But Buffalo, Buffalo is my number four. And the number five. I can't hey. They had a bad they had a bad, bad, bad game against the Rams, who had a bad game against the Cardinals. Um, but it's it's the GOAT. I can't go against the GOAT. I can't go against the GOAT. I can't go against the GOAT. And I have to put I have to put you ready for this? Oh. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in the number five spot. I got y'all. I told y'all. Y'all would thought I was gonna put Tom Brady. No, Green Bay has been balling. They lost their first game and they've been balling ever since. Green Bay is for real. Green Bay is for you real. Know, put hey, respect hey, on their name. You know who Green Bay remind me of? Who? My fantasy football team. <laughs> <laughs> we lost week one, but we've been balling ever since, baby. We've been balling ever since. Oh, I mean, my top five. I like the Chargers, but I, I'm not. I'm not all the way there yet. They, they, they. What they did to y'all in the first half was I was like, yo, Chargers may, but then they came out in the second half, and the Chargers are are that's their sort of staple. Wow. You, they're they're just, hit and miss. They 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 they're up. It's like a lightning bolt. You don't know when the boat's going to strike. So it may strike in the first it. half. It may strike in the second half. But they never have a consistent lightning going on. It's not lightning and thunderstorms all along. And what they did, I would have put them higher. I would have put them higher. But the way they came out and played in the second half, they low-key should have lost that game if, if y'all would have played more aggressively. I'm being 100%. That game was for y'all for the taking. They couldn't stop Henry Ruggs on deep routes. I don't know why y'all stopped doing it. And y'all just sort of like kind of – and then the, the 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 field goal miss, like I felt should've like – Should have went four on that. And that's yeah, really. I, I think y'all should have uh, should have kept going. And then Derek Carr, he got nervous. Like he didn't even – no, no. I mean like in one play, it was one series where y'all was driving. He tucked his tail before the dude even got there. He just was like – 
I mean, what are you supposed to do when the when no, when but, the but it was like the dude was right here, Carl was right there, and Carl said, So he, he, he not he, what he gonna take a shot? No, he could have threw it away, but he was look, I'm just saying, I'm just saying conservative play calling is the reason why y'all lost. The Chargers is a good team. They're not great yet. Herbert shows spurts. I'm telling y'all, he got the it factor, but he's not consistent with his it factor. Too many times he he bad throws. Oh at the wrong time. I'm All just going right. to spade to spade. I got my Chargers. I got the Chargers at a at a at a at a, at a slight seven because I got to put the butts at six. But that's my top five. Those are the top five teams I feel like is playing the best football right now, in my opinion. Consistently, consistently. Go ahead, Jay. Speak. Hey, I'm going to need you to come with a little bit more regimented protocol and some discipline for you to slide the Chargers from third to seven in the span of five minutes or however long that rant was, yeah. was completely, that was fraudulent, damn near. You can't be messing with my man's, the Herbert like that. Um, to get to mine, I'm going to start top bottom here and keep it quick. Um, the Kyler Murray. And I saw, I, I screenshotted it for you. Wait, you said top was, bottom, you like from five? Top, to top, 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 top to, top to, top to bottom. Like Arizona Cardinals. Arizona's number one. Okay. And it's, and it's by a, a country mile. It, oh, this oh, dude, oh, this oh, dude, oh, Kyler Murray, to go from 25 to one to be the MVP favorite four weeks in only affirms my hot takes preseason, right? And the Cardinals watching him do work. I have to sell half of my Lamar Jackson shares and I'm putting it all on Kyler Murray. Oh, you, oh here we go selling shares again. I'm selling Lamar Jackson shares and I'm immediately buying Kyler Murray before the prices get too high. I already bought some Kyler Murrays, but I got to put them all on Kyler Murray. He is special. And I believe his, his, ceiling, his ceiling is the highest to watch him, you know, maneuver and finagle around that pocket and then sling darts is crazy. And the rest of the roster where Arizona is just good enough. And so I'm just going to leave it at that. I got chargers at number two. I think that they're the teams that they've beaten are collectively um, stronger than any other three and one team. Who? And the chargers. They chargers beat number two. Who struggles, who's struggling right now. Yeah. Who else they beat? The so chargers. Where? I mean, the they, beat, uh, they beat Washington, the Chiefs, and then they lost to the Cowboys, but then they beat the Raiders. So, so who so did I, they really I, beat? I like their resume. What? The, the Chiefs and Washington had a solid the defense. The Chiefs have been we struggling. Good. They was first off. First off, you just said the Browns, bro. You said the Browns. Who have they, they beat? beat? Exactly. The, the one and three Vikings. The, the Bears. The zero and four Texans. The and, four and, Texans and, and the two and two Bears. Yeah, and then took it, and then took it on the chin. When they balling against bombs, hold on, hold on. When they dog your boy Kyler Murray, put some respect on them dogs, because he gonna have a he gonna have a hard time getting out of there and scrambling. They don't play each other. Okay, yes they do. We gonna see. The Browns don't play the Cardinals. Yes they do. Okay. So, uh, Justin Herbert is the truth. Ten seventeen Cardinals in the Browns. Put some on it. Put some on it. Put some on it. Put some on. So Put some on. That's next week. Oh. I just said that. No, no, 50 push-ups. 50 push-ups. Next week they play the Chargers. You know what happened when you did the push-ups last 50 time. push-ups. It's a new day, bro. Way. You picked that I, one. I'm picking this one. Right. I'm picking this one. 50 push-ups. Push on camera. 50. Oh, Put 100. Put 100 on it. If you really bought that. Put a hundred. I'm going to go warm up. We got 50 on it. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Look, I'm gonna get there. Ooh, Browns cards on the Cleveland Browns. Consecutive Browns. 100 push-ups. I can't get to 100. I'm a, I'm man enough to say it. I could do 50. No, no, give me you, give me a 30 second break. You get 30 second break to do the next 50. <laughs> so you got. Yeah, you I can go do 50 on. at start of show. 50 at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 and 50 um, then. 100 on Cleveland Browns beating the Cardinals. Just head up. Just don't, no scores. Just beating them. They're gonna beat the Cardinals, <laughs> and I guarantee it. Okay. Guarantee it. It's on it. You it's ready on for it. them on? You see these on? I ain't worried about a hundred, but okay. you better be worried about a hundred, boy. I'm sorry. All right. What's your What's your remaining? Uh, I got Bills number three. Okay. I got Cowboys number four. I like it. And you know what? It was a big old cluster at the at the end with the Packers and the Bucks and the Rams and the Ravens and the Raiders, and they all got 
holes. So I'm just going to say what I feel is about to happen and their record don't indicate it, but I'm just going to put the chiefs in the five spot just off respect. And I, I know that they're, they're coming on strong. Everybody's like, you know, yesterday's news, but I'm about what's about to happen. And so, and none of these rest of these teams, I could shoot holes through all of them, the Packers, the Rams, the Bucks, the Ravens, the Raiders. I all wanted to give them an honorable mention, but I'm going to say Chiefs at number five. Wow. And when we revisit this What's in two weeks, five? you'll see what I'm talking Wait, about. So time out. You are Lamar Jackson lover. Yep. And Lamar Jackson beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep. And they're three and one. And you they are not. I'm looking at the quality of what Hold they're on. doing. Yes. They beat the Chiefs. Yep. And you got the nerve to put the Chiefs. I'm talking about right now. I ain't talking right about now. Yes, next come. man speed. I'm not talking about next man speed. Yep. I'm talking about Ravens right got now. holes. Ravens got holes, and so I still expect big things. The Chiefs don't got holes. They do. Chiefs got a lot of holes. They, so, they do. So, 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 do. so how can how dare you put them? How dare I? How dare yeah, I? He said dare. a two and two team above three, four, three and one teams. The disrespect is real from you. You talk about me putting the Chargers not even in the top five. At least I have some reasoning. You putting on some five Chiefs at the five because they're just hitting early season adversity, and I'm expecting haymakers from them. Bro, they got they, they got a top five right quarterback. Now, Jay, you talk you that was a soft butter, not even in an oven hot. Thing. How can you even put the Chiefs right now? And you know they're not the number five best team. I, I can think understand. that they are. We, we can, I think we, that they we, are. We we can I think that they are. We With will. no defense? They give it up the most points? In... <sighs> I'm done with you. Well, You know um, what? It's I'm only crazy till it happens. It's I'm only crazy it. till uh, it happens. You're damn right. you damn right. Shout out to Pastor Michael <laughs> Ty on that. that uh, uh, it's only crazy till it happens. Hey, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Uh, go watch. Go get the book. Crazy Your Faith is dope. I read it. Uh, teach you about how to be faithful and all that stuff with the man above. Anyway. It's, it's, awesome. listen, it, hey, it was, it's, it's hot in here. It's yeah. hot in here. It's, that's it's all we got for the day. And we need yeah, this yeah. built up um, animosity because my team threw the bag away just like we always throw the bag away. I don't I don't like us even taking a lead and letting the off, letting, putting the game. Let, let me tell you this. I'm, I'm, are we on the Falcons right now? Is that what we are? I oh, no, no. Sure. We ain't about to be on the Falcons. I just need to, I need to touch on this. Fantasy, Falcons, what are we talking about? I, 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 I mean, we want to touch on fantasy. We know I, how that's going. No, no, no. I need I need to say this. Okay? Whoever the hell, I don't even want to say your name right now. You don't even deserve to get no name said, you defensive coordinator. I ain't never heard no man rush three players on the 37, and the team is on our own 30-yard line. What kind of dumb stuff is that? Why would you rush three players and go in the zone when they only need seven yards and they're all ready? We don't get no damn pressure with four. So what are we going to do with three? And he gave that man Heineken so much time. He was in there. Oh, somebody going to be open. And then and then my man Deion Jones fall for the hokey pokey. He, bro. Bro, you know, you know, he not going to come in the inside. They want to keep the clock stopped. So he going to hit you with an in and out, and you going to die for it. And you going to let the man Michael Jordan you for a touchdown? Oh, fade away. I told you that was trash. I'm so, I'm so disappointed. The game that Matt Ryan played pretty well. Because here's the thing, and this, and I'm gonna put some responsibility on the offense as well. You just gave up a touchdown. You know that, Maddie. You gotta be better. Look, you had a great, solid game, but you gotta be better. When the ball's in your hand, don't give it back. To be conservative, play calling, running the ball. It's so, a- like, I need to. I want to ask you this before we get out of here. In the north, um, quarterbacks like Derek Carr, Matt Ryan. Uh, you know, even, you know, the Dak Prescotts, the Russell Wilsons. Do you feel that not, en- not enough goes into blaming these offensive coordinators and the people who are – because I feel like we put a lot on the quarterbacks, right? Like, we come at them like, you got to do this, you got to do that. But aren't they more of a product of what's being sent in? Yeah. You know, a lot of the times they do have chances to audible – but you're supposed to audible based off a of look. 
And if you don't get the look, then you're not going to audible. So the original play call that comes in, you may disagree with like, I probably don't think. I mean, reasons. I love where you're going with it. And you, you are see, right. You are right. So just, you divide it up 100% and accountability and play calling and setting them up for success. That's a big chunk. That's like 30%. But the other piece you missing is when Matt Ryan takes 25% of the salary cap and you don't have six starters you should have and he can't move out the pocket. Well, I'm not, but I'm not I'm even saying, I'm, I'm not just talking about, I'm, not, I'm just not talking about Matt Ryan. I'm talking about all of them as a whole. And, all of them. And, and Russell they, Wilson ain't turning down no cheese. Give it all to me. I don't care if it costs me six starters. Give uh, me all Russell Wilson is what, two and two? Yeah, two, two. What are you talking about? Who cares? I'm just, I'm I'm just hey, looking at it like he's talking about accountability and how I, much does a quarterback have. It, it, it's, I, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's 50 50 because I think if you got a quarterback that's making that much money, the nation have more say, fast. right? If, if you make it rare like that, you should be able to say, Look, coach, because you know what? What I love about Andy Reid, he allows Pat Mahomes to make some calls and say, Look. Let's go. And he'll go with his quarterback. And hardball, like, too. Uh, hardball, too. But a lot of these other coaches, I don't know if Matt Ryan don't have it in him. I don't know. But he needs to say, look, man, let's, we got to win this damn game. Like, I get it. We want to play conservative. We want to play. You get what I'm saying? That's, you know what that's, happened? That's and I'm going to give you a prime way. example, too. Even with Herbert yesterday, you've seen the Chargers. They came out and played a little bit more conservative because they was – they was trying to hit y'all on the juggler. Yeah, they went for it on fourth downs, but then they then they went for it to just run some more clock. It wasn't like we going for it to trying to score on you again. We going for it. We ran a couple times, and then let's try to get this third and seven, make it matter. No. In the first half, they was trying to – it was like they wanted to fade y'all on sight in the first half. It was yeah, like, it was. Oh, what's up, fool? You talking about my mama? Don't even say a word. Just yeah. think, think, like, hey, it was. I mean, it me. was. That's what it and that's the reason I was so mad at Carr because he didn't respond in kind. But, exactly. see, but I think, but again, in kind means like, like I said, being there and watching it, like there was no checks and no audibles because I'm, te I'm looking at it like the play call that's coming in is like, oh, they're in this defense. This play should work instead of in the second half. Why, to me, outside of being down, why in the second half are you being more aggressive? Why not have that approach all the time? You feel me? Why not? Why are we coming out there trying to, like, like a real boxing match? Let's fill it out. It's no, like, big said it. Ego. ego. Big said it. The Chargers came out like, oh, these is hands. This ain't, we ain't showing up to this boxing match trying to feel what you look like in the first round. We coming in here like Mike Tyson did. Oh. It's either you going out or you not. And that becomes my problem. And it's not just the Raiders at time. It's other teams. Because yeah. the Raiders against the Dolphins, as Jay said, when we was up against the Dolphins, what did we do? We came out, oh, let's run the ball. Let's yeah. just do this. Let's just make sure we don't lose the game. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, let's go win the game. That stuff is so suspect. And to yeah. me, I blame the coaching because you – Whoever's the play calling is the one signaling in the plays. It ain't like how it used to be back in the day where the quarterback can really go out there and say, I got this, coach. Well, I don't need you. So, you know, it's just. I'm going to tell you this, and we can, we can leave it for another day. It's the Atlanta Falcons effect. That's what it's called. Oh, wow. It's going 28 points in the Super Bowl, and don't nobody know it's going to be part of history. So everybody plays safe when they get a certain amount of points and say, hey, we don't want that to happen to us. And sometimes when it happens, when you up by a lot of points, you take the foot off the gas and you're like, let's run some clock. No, not necessarily. I feel like there's a time and a place where you run more clock. I really feel that way. And what hurt us in that Super Bowl is that we didn't understand that time and place. We tried to figure out if we was going to run more clock or if we was going to still be aggressive. And when you indecisive and you're not one, you always die in the middle. That's just what it is. You got to pick a side. Either you're going to be conservative or you're going to be aggressive. But I truly believe that there's always a time. If there's 35, if you have 21 points, 28 points, there's a time when you can mix it up. You ain't got to go for them deep ones 
just manage. Get down. First downs, first downs, first downs. If they stop us, cool. But I'm not about to just go run the ball, run the ball. Oh, it's third and eight. Now I got to throw the ball. Uh, and they know not, that. Now Mark, you paper, scissors. And, 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 and blitz me. Now I'm going to get sacked or throw the ball away. Now I stop the clock and I give you the ball back. Like, it's just common sense. And, 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 and you see it time and time again. I'm glad, we can, I'm glad we can all agree on something. I'm, I'm, I like that we can end with agreement. Yeah. Right. I, I will say you just can't start the game with the Atlanta Falcons effect, is what, is what my takeaway is. I, I, think, come out here start. I think that they were trying to, <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, because sometimes when you're in a fight and you don't expect nobody to come and hit you like that, it got you off guard. And I think the Raiders got caught off guard last night because they were like, it was, it was. But it was babe, but bake after the first initial punch, we stopped them on four consecutive yeah, exactly. drives. I ain't mad at the defense. They did yeah. it. Bake four consecutive drives. I know. We got stopped. I know. I know. <laughs> and the offensive coordinator, John Gruden, didn't want to open it up until the second half. Y'all didn't throw not no deep balls in the first half, really. Not one. And, <laughs> and so it but it happens. It happens. Um, and definitely you got to give some credit. To the Chargers scheme. Yes, of course. Because they had a scheme though they was blitzing up the middle and it was distracting car. And again, pressure bust pipes. And you saw that when you start to get hit a few times, you know, but some deep balls, it was no, it was just like, I'm just gonna throw it, my dog. Like we just gonna take a chance. And you got a guy that can go and get it. But we'll save that for next uh time. We got picked Thursday. I'm unfortunately it's still losing. I'm getting every team right, but I was mad at the Chargers because I felt like the Chargers was gonna win. And they was gonna get the points, but when they kicked that damn punt, I, that's one of the reasons why I put them damn fools at the number seven spot for for causing me a game. That's why you at the number seven spot. Oh, there we go. You gonna win for the field goal? There we go. Let the Raiders score. I win that game. No, 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 no. You gonna do a fake punt out of a field goal? Punt. Get your in the seven, okay? That's how we gonna do it. Y'all stay safe. Y'all be blessed. I'm gonna come back. I'm telling y'all. I'm gonna figure this whole little point spread thing out. I'm going to get it. I'm getting the teams. I got to get the points. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. Hey, if you want to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. Think about other people besides just you. Because you can impact somebody's life by not getting that thing. That's all I'm going to say about it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. See y'all Thursday. Pick Thursday. Deuce, deuce.